artificial reefs will be deployed in the Arabian Sea near Wali in Mumbai about artificial reefs. Artificial reefs are engineering technology interventions which can be used to rehabilitate, improve the natural habitats, increase productivity and manage aquatic resources including habitat enhancement. Artificial reefs have fixed scientific design and these reef functions as a self-sustaining production system. Thus, artificial reefs can be directly placed on the seabed. Though man-made, artificial reefs mimic characteristics of a natural reef. Natural reef is a region near the surface of the ocean. Natural reefs can be made of rocks or skeletons of small animals called corals. Materials used for artificial reefs, rocks, cinder blocks, wood, old tires, limestone, steel and concrete. Advantages of artificial reefs Marine ecosystem restoration and biodiversity regeneration Providing firm substrates for corals, algae, plankton, etc. Artificial reefs acts as carbon sink. They also help in nutrient recycling, water quality maintenance, etc. Fisheries Artificial reefs provide grounds for fish, resulting in increase in catch rates, saving fuel and energy costs. As per CMFRI, two to threefold increase in small fish catch rates can be realized because of artificial reefs, thus saving fuel and energy costs, leading to increased income of small-scale fishermen. Reduces wave damage on coasts and limits bottom trawling, promotes ecotourism, etc. Also, artificial reefs can enhance recreational fisheries such as snorkeling. Ecosystem Artificial reefs helps the regeneration of marine ecosystem and it also acts as a carbon sink. Provide a firm substrate for marine life such as corals, algae, and plankton to attach to and grow. They provide favorable conditions for sea ranching and serve as spawning and nursery grounds for fish. For instance, artificial reefs off the Atlantic Ocean coast in U.S. states of Florida, Georgia and South Carolina have contributed to the area's marine life and promoted tourism. Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana To promote sustainable practices, Department of Fisheries has sanctioned 732 artificial reef units for 10 coastal states with a total investment of 126 crore, integrated modern coastal fishing villages of the centrally sponsored scheme of Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana. The projects are being implemented with the technical support of Fisheries Survey of India and ICAR Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute. Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana is designed to address critical gaps in fish production, quality, technology, post-harvest management, value chain modernization, and fishermen's welfare. PMMSY is an umbrella scheme with two components. One, central sector scheme, two, centrally sponsored scheme, has been approved at a total estimated investment of 20,050 crores, comprising of share of center, states, and beneficiaries contribution. PMMSY will be implemented in all the states and union territories for a period of five years starting from FY 2020-21 to FY 2024-25.